creatinine levels and the glomerular filtration rate, GFR, are two important indicators of kidney health. Creatinine is a waste product produced by your muscles during their normal activities, and the kidneys have the important job of filtering it out of your bloodstream. On the other hand, GFR is a blood test used to measure how well your kidneys are filtering blood. If the creatinine levels in your blood are too high or your GFR is low, this can indicate that your kidneys are not functioning properly. Symptoms may include fatigue, swelling in the ankles or feet, puffiness around the eyes, muscle cramps, nausea or vomiting. If left untreated, this can lead to kidney damage, kidney infections or even chronic kidney disease. Before starting with the natural ways to manage these indicators, let's understand what creatinine levels and GFR are and how they indicate kidney issues. This will help you understand the tips shared in this video in a better way. Your kidneys filter out creatinine from your blood, and once filtered, the creatinine leaves your body through urine. This process helps keep your blood clean and balanced. However, if your kidneys are not working well, they might not filter out enough creatinine. As a result, creatinine levels in your blood can become too high, which can indicate that your kidneys aren't working properly. The levels of creatinine in your blood can rise due to various reasons, including dehydration, high protein intake, certain medications, or health conditions like diabetes and high blood pressure, which can significantly impact your kidney health. On the other hand, GFR is a blood test that measures how well your kidneys are filtering blood. It is calculated using a special formula that takes into account your serum creatinine levels, age, body size and gender. These factors help doctors get an accurate picture of your kidney function. A higher GFR means better kidney function, and a lower GFR means that your kidneys are not working as well as they should. To improve your kidney health, you need to decrease creatinine levels and improve GFR. Now let's move on and learn about the natural ways to manage these indicators. 1. Stay hydrated. One of the simplest and most effective ways to manage creatinine levels and improve your glomerular filtration rate, GFR, is by staying properly hydrated. Drinking enough water is crucial for your kidneys to filter blood efficiently. When you're dehydrated, your kidneys have to work much harder to filter the same amount of blood. This extra effort can impair the filtration job of your kidneys and cause your creatinine levels to rise. By drinking enough water every day, you can help dilute the concentration of creatinine in your blood making it easier for your kidneys to excrete it. Drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water daily to keep your kidneys functioning well and maintain healthy creatinine levels. However, the exact amount can vary based on your individual needs, activity level, and health conditions. For some people, more water might be necessary, especially if they are very active, live in a hot climate, or have certain health conditions. It's always a good idea to listen to your body and drink water whenever you feel dehydrated. Symptoms of dehydration may include feeling thirsty, fatigue or dizziness. Moreover, try adding a slice of cucumber, lemon, or a handful of mint to plain water to make it more appealing and easier to drink to meet your body's daily water intake requirements. 2. Make dietary adjustments. Some dietary changes can significantly impact kidney health and help you manage creatinine levels. First, reduce your protein intake because proteins break down into creatinine during metabolism. And high-protein diets can increase creatinine production in your body. Consuming less protein means producing less creatinine. Among protein foods, red meat particularly could be challenging because muscles in the flesh contain creatine, which produces creatinine when heated during cooking. A 2014 study confirmed that eating cooked red meat can increase creatinine levels in the body, which will ultimately decrease GFR. To reduce your protein intake, consume fruits, vegetables, starches, and grains to fulfill daily energy needs, and opt for plant-based proteins such as beans, lentils, and tofu instead of animal proteins. Incorporating fruits and vegetables into your diet also provides essential vitamins and minerals that can support your overall kidney function. Limiting sodium intake is important to avoid high blood pressure, which can damage blood vessels and affect blood supply to organs. High blood pressure can also harm the tiny filtering units in the kidneys, potentially impacting their functioning and leading to increased creatinine levels. You should not consume more than two tablespoons of salt. To limit sodium intake, 
avoid processed foods because they are often high in sodium and choose fresh and whole foods. Moreover, use herbs and spices to add flavor to your meals instead of salt, which can help you enjoy tasty food without compromising your kidney health. Another adjustment is to keep your potassium intake in check. For people with kidney problems, both high and low potassium levels can cause complications. High potassium consumption can stress the kidneys because they have to work hard to filter extra potassium, whereas low potassium can cause hypokalemia, a deficiency of potassium, resulting in impaired kidney function. Because potassium is important for cellular functions throughout the body, including in the kidneys, this impaired function can impact filtration, resulting in high creatinine or low GFR. To balance the intake of potassium-rich foods, consume foods like bananas, potatoes, and spinach, but always make these dietary adjustments under the guidance of a healthcare professional to ensure they are safe and effective for your specific health needs. 3. Limit your alcohol intake. Alcohol is not only concerning for the liver, but it can also impact your kidneys. It can increase your blood pressure and stress your kidneys resulting in their damage and has been found to cause several renal problems. All these factors can impact the functioning of the kidneys and decrease their efficiency in filtering blood, which can increase creatinine levels in your body and decrease GFR. So, if you want to improve your kidney health, limit your alcohol intake. 4. Try Cheetosan. Cheetosan is a natural dietary supplement derived from the shells of crustaceans, like shrimp and crabs and is increasingly recognized for its health benefits. It is primarily known for aiding in weight loss and cholesterol control. But recently, Chitosan has gained attention for its potential role in kidney health, particularly in reducing creatinine levels. A notable study published in 2011 provided significant insights into the benefits of Chitosan on kidney function. The research observed that individuals who were supplemented with Chitosan had better control over their creatinine levels and better kidney functions compared to those who did not. To improve GFR and decrease creatinine levels, eat food sources of Chitosan, including crustaceans and certain types of mushrooms. You can also opt for Chitosan supplements, but keep in mind that they can cause side effects like stomach upset gas or constipation, so take them according to your health professional's advice. F increase your fiber intake. Fiber is a very important nutrient that plays a role in digestion. While it cannot directly help in lowering creatinine, its other health benefits including managing diabetes and blood pressure can contribute to better kidney health and improve GFR. In fact, according to 2014 research, dietary fiber helped in lowering creatinine levels in chronic kidney disease patients. To increase GFR and decrease creatinine levels, consume fiber-rich foods including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, seeds, oatmeal, etc. 6. Do regular exercise. Regular physical activity is a wonderful and natural way to support your kidney health and manage creatinine levels. When you exercise, it improves your blood circulation lowers your blood pressure and boosts your overall heart health. All these benefits can directly help your kidneys function better. However, it's important to find the right balance, as intense workouts can sometimes cause a temporary spike in creatinine levels due to muscle breakdown. Instead of pushing yourself too hard, aim for moderate intensity activities like walking, swimming or yoga. Walking is simple and can be done almost anywhere. It helps improve your cardiovascular health without being too strenuous. Swimming is another excellent option. It's easy on your joints and provides a full body workout that's also gentle on your kidneys. Yoga, with its stretching and breathing exercises, not only strengthens your body but also helps in reducing stress, which is beneficial for your overall well-being. 7. Manage your blood pressure and blood sugar levels. As mentioned before, high blood pressure and diabetes are two major risk factors for kidney disease. Therefore, managing these conditions is crucial for maintaining healthy creatinine levels and a good GFR. For this, make lifestyle changes such as a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management techniques to help control blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Take medications prescribed by a healthcare provider as directed. Moreover, regularly monitor your blood pressure and blood sugar levels to detect any issues early and allow for prompt intervention. Keeping these levels in check reduces the strain on the kidneys and can support their ability to filter blood effectively. 8. Manage stress. 
chronic stress can harm your kidneys and your overall health. This is because when you're constantly stressed, your body releases stress hormones that can harm your kidneys over time. To help reduce stress and protect your kidneys, practice stress management techniques like meditation, deep breathing exercises, and mindfulness. These activities can help calm your mind and body, lowering your stress levels. Another great way to manage stress is by engaging in hobbies you enjoy, spending time outdoors and making sure you have a healthy balance between work and leisure. Doing things you love and connecting with nature can boost your mood and mental well-being which in turn can help your kidneys function better. Sleep is another important factor for kidney health that people often overlook. Poor sleep quality and sleep disorders have been linked to a higher risk of kidney disease. To support your kidneys and overall health, aim to get seven to eight hours of good quality sleep each night. A regular sleep schedule and a relaxing bedtime routine can make a big difference in how well you sleep and how healthy your kidneys stay. Nine, lose weight. If you are overweight, Losing weight can significantly impact your kidney function. One of the positive effects of weight loss is improved blood pressure control. Excess weight often leads to high blood pressure, a significant risk factor for kidney disease. By losing weight, you can lower your blood pressure thereby reducing the risk of kidney damage. This is particularly beneficial for maintaining healthy kidney function over the long term. Additionally, weight loss can help reduce proteinuria, the presence of protein in the urine, which is an indicator of kidney damage. When weight loss is achieved through a balanced diet and regular exercise, it can lead to a decrease in proteinuria. This reduction is a crucial step in preventing further kidney damage and promoting overall kidney health. Improved insulin sensitivity is another positive outcome of weight loss, as obesity and insulin resistance are closely linked to kidney disease. However, it is essential to approach weight loss healthily and sustainably. Rapid or extreme weight loss methods such as crash diets or excessive exercise can strain the kidneys and potentially cause harm. 10. Avoid nephrotoxic substances. Certain medications, supplements and substances can be harmful to the kidneys and should be avoided or used with caution. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen and naproxen can be nephrotoxic, especially when used frequently or in high doses. Always follow the recommended dosage and consult with a healthcare provider before taking any new medication. Similarly, some supplements and over-the-counter products can strain the kidneys. For instance, creatine supplements often used by athletes and bodybuilders can increase creatinine levels. Herbal supplements not regulated by the FDA can also pose risks to kidney health. It's crucial to discuss any supplements or medications with a healthcare provider to ensure they are safe for your kidneys. 11. Try herbal remedies. Several herbs and natural supplements have been traditionally used to support kidney health and may help in lowering creatinine levels. Fenugreek seeds are known for their diuretic properties which help increase urine production and can assist in flushing out excess creatinine from the body. Similarly, cinnamon and nettle leaves are also thought to promote urine production, which can make them helpful for supporting kidney function. While these herbs can be beneficial, it's very important to use them cautiously. Herbs and herbal supplements can interact with other medications and may cause side effects. Therefore, it's always best to use these remedies under the guidance of a healthcare professional to ensure they are safe and effective for your specific health needs. 12. Know the amount of fluid you should drink. While we have discussed that dehydration can raise creatinine levels, keep in mind that excess fluid intake can also be concerning for some people with kidney disease. Excessive water intake can put stress on the kidneys. While the kidneys are generally quite adept at handling large volumes of water, there is a limit beyond which kidney function could be affected. So drink water according to your body's needs. To learn more about what else you can do to lower creatinine levels and improve GFR, be sure to watch other videos on our channel about improving kidney health.